ideally, you know, I probably would have said, I don't want to talk about it. But you're one of the most intelligent people. Yeah, man. No, you can walk that tight line. Yeah, that's not it's not an issue for yeah. me. And also because there's been quite some misreporting going on. Facts. So answer your first question. Yes. What, <laughs> what do you think about his activism? I don't know much of it. I'll be honest okay. with you. I don't know much of it. Prior to the first video mm. where he mentioned me and my dad, I didn't. I hadn't seen much of him. I hadn't Did seen. He, yeah, it's good. What I had seen, what I remember seeing was, I don't think this was probably like a while ago, um, some stuff about uh, people that didn't have NAVDAC and they were yeah. selling products. And I Which thought, was, okay. that was the beginning. And yes. At that time when I saw some of those clips, I was like, okay, this person seems to be doing Facts. something right. You know, this, this is a good cause. Facts. You know, but, Aside that, I wouldn't lie to you, I really haven't seen much of his work. Which can know. happen because social media algorithm takes people different ways. Yeah. Um, now, this person one day thought it wise to turn on his ring light, sit down, and via direct statements, insinuations, and innuendos, say to uh, allege mm. that myself and my dad connived with some certain individuals to manipulate justice and bribe the EFCC. And adding <laughs> that the reason I've done this is because I have a homosexual relationship with Bob Risky. Going further to say that my posturing as an activist, everything is false. No. <laughs> yeah. How did you feel about when that came out personally how did you feel how would anyone feel this is it, it's hard mm. horrible things to say absolutely no proof why would you just come and allege all these things you have uh, absolutely nothing to support all these statements and this is why i say um, when we speak about a uh, seed of discord mm. just ordinary nigerians i think also need to be a lot more careful in jumping into conclusions and just let's just look at things a bit more objectively you know and somebody just coming up and alleging something shouldn't be the basis for which you draw your conclusion mm. what has this person shown to show to support this allegation and what a lot of these people are now saying oh eh, why don't you face this okay well now via my counsel i wrote to the person that he's alleging or he's attributing all these statements to yeah. and the person has denied that absolutely no money was paid to me or my dad for nothing all these things are false basically so now you have to defend yourself because he who alleges must prove i've gone to court for defamation of character because that's clearly what this is hmm. now Recently, it was reported that um, the court has ordered 500 million naira to be paid, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's false. The case of defamation is still very much in court. Yes, we have instituted proceedings for defamation because, of course, that is what this is. Um, that is very much still ongoing. However, there's something called interim applications, yep. which you can do. While a substantive case is still ongoing, you can apply to the court for an injunction to hold on to something because this uh, 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 defamation still subsists this video i speak of is still very much on his page on his pages he has not taken them down and the application was for him to take those down so the ruling then, the ruling that the court yes. exactly thank you very much the ruling that the court gave was take this down and desist from any further defamatory remarks pending the determination of this substantive suit mm. that is what that is that is what has been decided upon of course in my defamation suit i'm going to ask for damages because that is the only remedy available in a civil suit i'll have you know that there's a criminal angle to defamation mm. i chose not to go that route so there is a criminal angle there's to a defamation. criminal angle to defamation now he could very well have been arrested but this so-called the narrative that they are peddling now because now that's the narrative that oh me and my family want to oppress this guy because we have legal muscle come on man i d i know they find trouble baba yeah. you know i know yeah. they find trouble baba i day my day you set your ring light begin to talk all this nonsense about me and you expect me to sit down 
I afforded this guy a phone conversation. Yeah, I wanted to speak about Sheon Kuti is a mutual. Yeah. I saw when this thing first came out, I saw Sheon Kuti saying on his Instagram live that he knew about it, something, something. something. So I called him. Ah, what's him with this baba? So she must have called him and then he reached out to me. And on the phone, this guy was instantly defensive from the big like bro, I try and listen. Like, what are you even already fighting about? And he said to me, without mincing words, he said, Shebi, you are a lawyer, go to court. In my opinion, this person during the conversation to try to find bro, ground. This person, in my opinion, wanted the litigation now what he thinks that does for him i do not know <laughs> i do not know what he thinks that does for him i don't know if he thinks it, it will post him as some sort of hero i but he clearly wanted the litigation without a conversation went because as soon as you posted this uh, uh this thing I sent you the pre-action notice saying what you've what you've posted is a load of bollocks you know absolutely false i need you to take it down and offer an apology within a certain amount of time what did he do nothing i thought i saw first of all apologies from Sheung, um and then i saw an apo I, I believe i saw so, an apology from him too. so Sheung, Sheung could see did his because of you know the things he said on on his life you yeah. know but that's aside yeah he didn't offer an apology he said uh and this was at the house of assembly when he was invited to this panel said a few words you know some people are taking advantage to tarnish the image of my dad absolutely did not mention my name has been dodging mentioning my name ever since i wrote to him that same day Posted something on his Instagram story at Faz Bad Guy. Oh, I wish say you day here to see what thing they happen yeah, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come I on, man. On Bro, what are you doing? This is not an apology. This defamatory publication still exists on your page. What are you doing? What is this? And yeah, you people are trying to peddle a narrative that I'm an oppressor? Are you people in <laughs> your track record? Bro, definitely. Go so. to my comment section now as we did speak. Go to my comments section. Negative? Go to read comments. Bro, just go read comments by yourself negative you will see where people be and this is the reason why a lot of people say things like oh nigerians deserve what they get i don't like to say make statements like that because really and truly nobody deserves the amount of worry that we go through bro mm. nobody does but when you don't take your time to carefully assess scenarios and you jump on cheap manipulation tactics and you then spool ne negativity at somebody for absolutely no just cause of course people are going to say stuff like that people buy into that what about the the the, the audio that he had presumed to have played which alleged that someone the other person was saying what they had and said that's what i'm saying that audio now has been denied by the person that he's alleging was the uh, was the author and bro he who alleges must, must prove. prove must prove <laughs> so and, and he has a lawyer his lawyer has has been in contact so i imagine his lawyer would have explained all these things to him you know so since he really really desperately wants litigation the rest of the explanation will be done in court now why for this matter we're not here for the first time first the bad guy don't come out to can't answer everything when he be say very dark man they do against them they talk about them you understand this person in no mention him but we know what in in they talk about <laughs> not be small thing no Una here say they say Bob Risky don't deny the voice notes and everything. When he be say now nah Bob Risky send that message go give person eh? Because say Bob Risky just won't collect money from person hand. Now he go send that message. You see and now that brother a gege brother when he day America when he send this matter can't give VDM. <laughs> he go need to come court. Oh. he go need to from America come court. Nobody wanted to do online. So come talk him so that in with Bob Risky go stand face to face. Make VDN name for come out for this matter because uh, uh, as this matter they go. So now hear everything when he be say, first the bad guy he talk. They know they play, oh, then say then go go deep for this matter because they don't even see tell very dark man say, make he delete those video. Come out for a page. He not still great delete him. He not do apology. Rather, it comes social media. It begin the ease. You understand? <laughs> now, what? 
if at all it's a very dark man, delete that video. A lot of bloggers get that video for their page.